welcome to another video i am the star man and if you saw my last video i was talking about not to loosen clouds i'm actually here in the kitchen at the moment but i'm going to take you outside in a minute and show you the sky we're now at may the 18th as i film this video and if you saw the video on not to loosen clouds you'll know that these are phenomena that you can see in the twilight sky in the summer and that kind of the, the period when you normally start to see them is starting around about now and the reason why we get to see them is because it's all to do with the sun angle at this time of year you know because the further north you live the less that the sun goes down below the horizon and you get a very bright sky so you'll know if you live up in the north of scotland or or even up in you know in scandinavia or somewhere like that you know that you get very bright nights at this time of year and there's also a great chance to spot these amazing ice clouds in the sky that are known as not to loosen clouds i was talking about them in the last video so you can watch that one just in case you haven't seen it have a look at that i want to take you outside into the back we're going to the garden i'm going to show you the sky it's a nice twilight sky tonight and there is a good chance that some of them might i don't think they will i still think it's a little bit too early where i am i am at 53 degrees north which is actually a pretty good you know it's a good latitude to be anywhere between 50 and 60 is a great latitude to have a chance of seeing these not to lose in clouds now what i was saying is as we go past the middle of may we actually get to the point where there's an everlasting twilight all night it means that the sun does not go down below 18 degrees the sun needs to set below the horizon more than 18 degrees for the sky to get perfectly dark well that's not happening now it's actually skirting down to around about 17 maybe 17 and a half degrees and then it's starting to come back up again so what's going to happen is the sun is not going to go below the horizon low enough as we get towards the solstice on june is it june the 21st on the solstice the sun is barely going to get down to about 13 degrees below horizon we're going to be almost in um nautical twilight all night around about the solstice um so that's when you have a really great chance that the more you get towards june closer to the solstice you have an even better chance of seeing these clouds because you have more twilight you see anyway i just want to show you this guy outside let's go outside and have a little look shall we i just want to try and give you some kind of idea of what to look for i don't think we're going to see any but we'll have a look shall we let's go and have a look okay right so i'm, I'm sure you've seen this garden before i've got lights going on all over the place <laughs> street lights oh we've got the moon up there yep we've got a it's heading towards uh first quarter but i want to show you this over here I, I wonder if you can see this now then i just want to show you over here can you see over there how that sky is nice and blue well that's the type of sky that we need to have if we're going to get a chance of seeing these not pollution clouds now unfortunately there were some normal clouds in the sky before and i wanted to show you the difference between normal clouds and not pollution clouds because normal clouds look black against the twilight and not pollution clouds they have like this glow really nice glow can you see over there that uh, that twilight there i can't see any sign of the not loosen clouds but i'm just giving you a heads up to look out for them whenever you see a nice blue twilight sky like this have a look out there and if you see any kind of light pattern like glowing or anything like that then you might just be looking at not to loosen clouds yeah just before there were some weather clouds up there there were some nice clouds actually they were very dark and uh, they were a good example of um, normal clouds well the not pollutant clouds are obviously way way high up and they're, they're made of ice crystals really really tiny tiny ice crystals up in the upper atmosphere in the mesosphere and they have this really nice electric blue glow to them and that's how you can tell what they are so there you go i don't think we're going to see any tonight but you never know they can just appear from nowhere it's amazing how they can just appear out of nothing okay so there you go yeah so that's a really really nice twilight sky we've got up there tonight there's plenty of time 
to see them yet. I don't think that we're going to see them out here tonight, but you never know. I did mention in the last video that they can use, we usually see them after sunset. That's when most people will probably see them after sunset. It's going to be late on. I mean, now it's, it's probably almost um, 11 o'clock now um, would be the first time you start to see them. Now, as we get towards summer into June, it's going to be even later. It could be midnight before we even start to see them. But also, I did mention in the last video that they might not appear at sunset, but they might appear before sunrise. Or they could be up all night. You just never know. But um, anyway, I hope this video has been some help for you. And I hope that um, if you do get a chance to see some night, if we get some good weather, I mean, you know, we need some nice clear weather, which we've got today, actually. Have a look out and see at night. Have, have, have a quick look out. Look towards the northwest and maybe towards the north if you're a bit later on towards that twilight look low down fairly low down and see if you can spot any kind of glowing kind of patterns if you can you could be well looking at not losing flowers anyway it's just a quick update i'm hoping to do a live video if i ever see them i'll do a live video i'll definitely see them this year i will definitely see them because i see them every year because i know what to look for you see uh, we just need some good weather that's all anyway i hope you like the video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again next time.